Here's the solution to example one. First, we want to identify lines that are parallel to CD. Here's line CD. Actually, we'll put it in red so it stands out a little bit more. We want lines that are parallel to it. Obviously, line AB will be parallel. They do not touch, and they lie in the same green plane. So line AB is one possibility. We also have line EF. Both lines do not intersect, and both lines lie in this right side of the box in that same plane. And lastly, hopefully you found this, we also have line HG. Both lines don't intersect, and we could imagine that if we put a sheet of paper at a diagonal in this box, So this black plane that I've just shaded in contains both lines. Thus, the three possible parallel lines to CD are AB, EF, and HG. Now let's identify some skew lines. Again, we're looking for lines that are skew to CD. The big difference is we should have noticed that all our parallel lines go in the same direction as C and D. Skew lines won't. One possibility would be AH. Lines do not intersect, but they are not contained in the same plane. We also have BG. and in this red plane, AG. Those are all the skew lines in our red plane. Let's look at some others. We have, let's see, against that back wall, we have FG. And that's the only one for there. See, on our front wall, we have EH. And those are all of our skew lines. We now want to identify lines that are perpendicular to CD. Okay. Remember, you cannot assume lines to be perpendicular unless they're marked so in your drawing. Looking at CD, the only line that is marked as perpendicular to it is AD. Thus, CD is perpendicular to AD, and that's the only answer we can conclude. Lastly, we want to identify planes that are parallel to plane EFG. Let's find plane EFG first. So we have E, F, G. This is the bottom of our square. A parallel plane, like a parallel line, will make it so the planes do not touch. They never intersect. Well, we can see that all four walls of this box intersect the bottom, but the top doesn't, meaning a plane that is parallel to plane EFG would be plane ABC. And this plane can have a number of names. We can also call it plane ADC, we can call it plane ADB, plane BCD any of those letter combinations, and really in any order, as long as you pick three points that lie in that top plane of the box. All right, if you understand that, then feel free to go on to some new postulates. If not, make sure you review the videos before you go on to any new material.